As you know, the air we breathe contains H2O, also known as water, making up just under 4% of the total air. But what if we could turn that water, the humidity in the air around us, into drinking water? That's exactly what's happening in Petah Tikva, close to Tel Aviv, thanks to WaterGen. The Israeli company welcomed us to its offices to explain how the technology works. Our visit begins on the rooftops of Petah Tikva. So this is just one of the machines that transforms the air in Petah Tikva into water? Exactly, not just any water. Thanks to our technology, we can produce a large amount of water using very little electricity. And the water is high quality, mineralized water, because we mineralize it ourselves. How many liters can this type of machine produce? This machine can generate up to 1,000 liters of water per day, depending on weather conditions. That's enough to provide mineral water for the entire six-story building and all of our employees. And this type of machine can be installed anywhere, not just on rooftops? Of course, it can be installed anywhere. Today, we have a commercial presence in over 90 countries. Projects like this one on many buildings in Israel help promote sustainability by reducing plastic use, and they give employees access to better quality water. I understand you also have machines in China, where the air is inevitably more polluted than here in Israel. How can you ensure that the water remains safe and high quality in polluted air, whether in urban centers like Petah Tikva or even more polluted areas in China? It's important to know that WaterGen has been developing these machines for the past 10 years. We hold many patents for air filtration as well as our filtration capsules, which allow allow us to produce water of exceptionally high quality. When we founded the company, we installed our machines in some of the world's most polluted areas, without naming specific countries, of course, and had the water tested by external laboratories every month. What makes this technology extraordinary is that water remained pure and mineral rich at all times. The two machines on the rooftops of Petah Tikva can produce between 1,000 and 6,000 liters of water per day. 1,000 liters is roughly the amount one person uses in four to five days, while 6,000 liters is enough for one family of four for about a week. The water can be consumed directly from a tap on the rooftop or from inside the offices. The water here is Petah Tikva water. Exactly. exactly, that's an important point. Today, many countries want their national water. It's a source of pride. Countries can brand and market our bottles with water from different regions. So we provide a solution not only for governments to foster national pride, but also for water sources and partners who want to bottle their own water. And the water tastes incredibly pure. This technology was WaterGen's first innovation, but the Israeli company has since developed other machines that can also turn the ambient air of a room into drinking water, just like the ones in WaterGen's offices. So how does the technology work? It's surprisingly simple. We draw air into our machines, clean it with our WaterGen filters, and then pass it through our technology which produces large amount of water using very little electricity. The water is safe to drink. Then it goes through filtration and mineralization. What you just tasted came from the exact same process. Like any innovation, there's a story behind it. The company was founded by Dr. Michael Marashvili, a well-known businessman who discovered this small technology initially acquired by a large corporation for air drying purposes and then realized its potential for producing drinking water. Today, WaterGen has developed machines that could be deployed in humanitarian zones affected by drought, disasters, or conflict. We deploy these machines on trailers powered by generators or solar panels. They can be connected to cars, large trucks, and other vehicles, allowing for rapid deployment to provide water to affected populations. How many liters of water can they produce? Up to 220 liters per day. To put it in perspective, 220 liters of water per day is roughly equivalent to 145 bottles of water. Once in disaster zones, these machines can be deployed and fully operational in under 30 minutes. WaterGen has sent these machines all over the world, after hurricanes in the United States and to humanitarian zones in South Asia. These are projects that make a real difference and leave a lasting impact.
Take the one in Kenya, for example, a village of women who have endured extremely difficult circumstances. People there are used to walk 30 to 40 kilometers each day to fetch unsafe water, which caused illness and kept children from attending school. Now, they have systems that can generate water continuously, so they no longer have to worry about access to safe water. You can imagine the impact this has on a small village, a community, even a country. It's truly extraordinary to witness. Watergen's latest product, less humanitarian but equally fascinating, is a bottle of water produced in the United Arab Emirates. The UAE has partnered with Watergen to market water branded with the country's colours made from local air. Projects like this continue to drive Watergen and will carry on into 2026.